Good morning, children. Okay, today I am going to take the math, mathematics subject, and the new exercise one point four. Mathematics and the last session is how much? Seventh session. Okay, children. In the previous year only we have learnt about the uh, estimating years to the hundred, years to the tens. Nearest to the hundreds and nearest to the thousands. Okay. Now a little bit I'll give you examples of that. Okay. Once you will recall, of course you go for the exercise. Okay. Example: If they have given the copy eight, they said you to estimate the nearest tens. Okay. This is ones and this is tens. What they have said? Estimate to the nearest tens. Example be how if example you think of uh, if there is a marriage how will you think of uh, how many members can attend the marriage? We will say about the 500, 600 members, but it is not exactly okay. It is not perfect answer, but we are estimating in numbers. It may be then in the tens, hundreds, or thousands. Okay, we won't say they may come at 450 to 622. We won't we can't we won't say like that. We will say they can they may be six hundred seven hundred thousand okay so we are estimating in this also they have said uh, they have asked you to estimate the nearest tens okay we have to find uh, yeah, estimate this nearest tens so that the, on that time what you have to see you have to see the what is there in the ones place okay it is eight okay the number which is greater than five. Then you have to go for the forward ones. Go for the intense place which is in the nearest. Okay, after fifteen, sixty will be the nearest for tens. Okay, the ones place should be greater than five. Okay, if the one if they have been fifty two here. Okay, two is smaller than five. Then what we should do? The estimated number is fifty. Okay, students. If the number is more than five, then we have to go for the Forward tens number. If the number is less than five, then we have to go for the previous tens value. Okay, fifty-eight is fifteen. Fifty-eight. Eight is greater than five. Okay, so we have to go for the forward. In fifty-two, two ones less two is smaller than five, so we have to go for the previous that is fifty. Okay, if this is in the estimate in the tens, then we go for the hundred place. Okay, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds. When we go for the hundred place, we have to. Okay, in tens place we are the uh, considering the ones place. Okay, to estimate. If they have given five, six hundred thirty-five. Okay, in changing estimating the hundred place, we have to look after the tens place. So they have given it may be a lesser than or greater than five. Okay, three. Three is lesser than sorry, lesser than five. So we have to go for the back estimating the two hundred. If in the place of three they have given seven, okay, seven which is greater than five. So we have to go for the forward to make it three hundred. Okay, this is how we are estimating the numbers in hundreds. Okay, when you go for the thousands. Thousand places, hundred, tens, ones means four digit numbers. Six thousand four five. Okay, five hundred twenty. Okay, in estimating the thousand places, we have to look after the hundred places, which is greater than or lesser than or lesser than or equal to five. If it is five is if five is equal to five, then you have to go for the forward and make it as seven thousand. Instead of five, they have given two. Means we have to make it as a six thousand. Okay, if it is more than five, also we have to go for the forward and make it as a seven thousand. The number which is equal to or more than five, we have to go the forward number. Okay, forward number which is nearer to thousand. If the number is lesser than five, then we have to go the previous number which is near to nearest to the thousands or hundreds. This is the Ah, what are we calling about the estimation of now estimating the nearest tens, hundreds, and thousands? Now go for the exercise one point four. In the 
first Roman number, then what they have given here? Round off each of the following numbers to the nearest tens. Round off.
Which is 
smaller than 5. So it will go back. It will become 3100. Okay. This is the answer. Okay. This is how we run for the rounding of the nearest hundreds. Next is rounding of the nearest thousands also that we have given here. Okay, children, copy everything in your notes. Next row number, rounding of each of the following to the nearest thousands now. Okay. First one, three thousand four hundred and two. Write the base value for the thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. Three thousand four hundred and two. In uh, near uh, rounding of the nearest thousand, so we have to consider what is in the hundred place. In hundred place we have four, which is less than five. So we have to take it as a three thousand itself. Okay, students, because we are rounding on the Thousands. Next second one is eight thousand six hundred three. Thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. Eight thousand six hundred three. So we have to consider after place six. Six which is greater than five. So we have to take it as a. So plus one for this means it will become nine thousand. Next to third one. Yeah. 
For that we have to write the numbers which are nearest to the 420. Copy all the students now. Two hundred and 
34. Okay, first we have to round up the nearest hundred. Six hundred ninety-two. So for this we have to consider the tenth place that is nine. Nine is greater than five. So nearest hundred is how much for this? Seven hundred. Okay, when you come to the two hundred thirty-seven one ten hundred three. Okay, three is. Three is less than five, so we have to go it back. It will become two hundred. Okay, by adding this, what we get? Seven hundred plus two hundred equals to how much? Seven plus two is nine. Nine hundred. Next, second one. Okay, students. Okay, let's uh, let's finish this uh, session today. Remaining session, I'll continue.